process that could take until next year. And for more on this deal, I'm joined by James Katz, Professor of Communication at Rutgers University, and Jeff Kagan, a telecommunications industry analyst in Atlanta, whose many corporate clients include both SBC and AT&T. Welcome to you both. Starting with you, Mr. Kagan, let's start with the buyer here. What is SBC after? Well, Jeff, it's all about competitive advantage. It has to do with a company that's trying to expand and put pieces together that are beyond its regional boundaries right now and becoming a national company. And, and how does uh, taking AT&T help it get there? Well, AT&T is a national company. It's a, it's a, uh, it used to have a uh, consumer business. It used to have a cable business. It used to have a, um, a wireless business. Now it's really just a, a, a nationwide business service. And by acquiring this, SBC gets to practice outside of their region. They transform themselves from being a regional phone company to being a national phone company. So when you say taking AT&T will let them do that, what, what down the line is SBC after? What is it trying to make itself into here? Well, telecommunications has gone through some major changes. The telecommunications industry was broken up in 1984 when AT&T was broken up into seven baby bells and AT&T. Then there's been a series of mergers. The wireless business has been introduced. The internet has been introduced. There's all these different things. Now we have voice over IP. Now all of a sudden there are new providers of telephone service. And the meaning of competition in telecom is changing. SBC used to provide just local phone service. Now they're providing uh, everything. They're providing long distance and local and internet and, 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 and cellular and even television in their region. But they want to be a national company. So this helps them just to, to break out of the borders and become a national provider of service. Something that's going to happen, I think, in the industry. Other providers are going to follow and you're going to see MCI is going to be the next company going to be acquired and uh, it's going to continue. The merger wave is going to continue over the next few years. All right, well, let's come back to that. Professor Katz, I want to ask 